Transport Minister S. Isweren was handed 27 charges in court on January 18. A court officer told the court the charges were read to him before the hearing. Isweren, who was arrested in July 2023 by the Corrupt Practices Investigation Bureau CPIB, arrived at the state courts at about 8 a.m. on January 18. He arrived with his legal team, which includes senior counsel Devinder Singh from Devinder Singh Chambers, and did not comment when the Straits Times approached him. The prosecution team is led by Chief Prosecutor Tan Kiet Feng, who is assisted by two deputy public prosecutors, Jiang Kuyu and Kelvin Chong. Iswaran told the court he intends to claim trial. The court heard that the charges are two counts of corruption, 24 counts for obtaining items from someone he had business dealings with as a public servant and one for obstructing the course of justice. Iswaran, 61, was arrested by CPIB on July 11, 2023, following its investigation into a separate matter. He was then released on bail. He was instructed by Prime Minister Li Xinlong to take a leave of absence until investigations were completed. His monthly pay was reduced to $8,500 until further notice, and he continues to draw his MP allowance. On January 9, Education Minister Chan Chan Singh provided an update in response to a parliamentary question. He said the CPIB has completed its investigation into Iswaran and the matter was before the Attorney General's Chambers AGC. The AGC has the prosecutorial discretion to decide whether a person is charged and the charge on which he is prosecuted. Iswaran was elected into Parliament in 1997 as an MP for West Coast GRC, where he has served for the last 26 years. He was promoted to full minister in the Prime Minister's office in 2011 and has held ministerial positions in the Ministries of Education, Home Affairs and Communications and Information. Property tycoon Ong Bang Sang was also arrested on July 11 as part of the corruption probe. Mr Ong is the man who brought Formula 1 to Singapore in 2008.